That is really cool. Whoa, and it changes colors too. I love it. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're playing here with Pugnacia Dinos, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Me personally, I'm doing amazing. Surrounded by my army of incredible, insane dinos from the mod. We're coming really close to the end. I mean, not that close, but we're in the final chapter. Let's put it that way. Yes, we have got nearly every single primeval possible. Only a few more bosses left to summon in before we go on to the big guys. Yeah, and I'd like to kind of prep for that today yeah so we've already found out that our very best creature our strongest most mighty is this dragon yes our mega mens which we named last episode and uh i think if we're gonna possibly use this guy considering he hits the hardest to go up against the likes of a spine breaker a tempest or that new scorpion dude um, we might want to have some backups in case something goes wrong. This guy does hit four and is our only creature that hits for over a million. But um, yeah, we, we definitely we need to get some breeding partners. So checking this out, we have a male. We can swap genders if we get another male, but ideally we want a female. We'll see how that goes today. I'd like to sort of start things off hunting for that. We also got last episode, the mighty third trike and... A rubber primal penguin. It is so incredibly cool. I highly recommend you going and checking it out. But uh, yes, if we're going to do some breeding today, uh, we need to likely... Let me see. What, what options do we have for breeding? Um, there is something that is called the propagator. We don't actually want any mutations. However, on some other creatures, we might. So let's, let's have a look-see propagator here it is yeah it's kind of pricey but let's go ahead and can i craft this guy am i missing some oh crap what am i missing i'm missing something all right let's do one more time propagator and okay electronics phew i thought it was going to be something else i mean i guess that is kind of a pain in the neck but we can do it look at that all right hopefully we have enough metals Metal, metal, metal. Oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> Look at all that metal. Oh, that is so good. All right. Let's go ahead and um, let's see. Where should I craft my electronics? Right in here. Turn on. Beautiful. And composites. And there we go. Beautiful. And this crafts up five at a time. All right. Uh, it's still going to take a while to craft it all. So... Let's go ahead and let that continue crafting. And uh, another thing, we are completely out of our boss taming of our satis uh, satiating nutriments. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make, I don't know, five more. That should hold us over. All right, got everything required. Oh, I can make nine total. All right, what the crap? Let's make nine. All right, beautiful. And let's just take three, four. Come on, give it to me. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's go head out. Let's get a dragon. Honestly, it doesn't really matter uh, what the level is, or I mean, kind of matters, but not really. We're going to try and pass all of the stats over from uh, Mega Men's. That's going to be what's most important. So let's go do that. And then I haven't decided which boss I want to do yet. I'm kind of thinking Mothra, maybe. Mothra tends to be one of my favorites and also extremely strong. So maybe we could check that out. We'll just have to see. But anyway, let's head on over. I usually find the most dragons over in the, uh, the snowy area. So I'll meet you there. And guys, please remember, if you're enjoying this series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, you might want to think about it. Because I personally think it is the perfect time to subscribe. All right, guys. Uh, wish me luck. And I'll meet you on over in the snowy area.
All right, we've got our first dragon. It is good level, awesome colors, but it's a male. Uh, all right, you know what? I kind of feel like we should snag it anyway. It is really, really pretty. Come here, Mr. Dragon. We'll try and get a female today, but just in case, uh, let's go for this one. This one actually has pretty good stats too, just on its own. Let's go, bro. All right, and we got it! Awesome! All right, reloaded. Whew. Oh, crap, we got a raptor there. Can we be quick enough for it not to matter? I don't, you know, I don't know if, if I... You may get a perfect aim with those every time, no matter what. Don't know. Don't want to find out. All right. Beautiful! So we have a potential mate. It's going to cost probably a little bit more element to have to swap the uh, the gender of it, but that can do. Let's keep on looking. Let's see if we can find a female, though. That would be ideal. All right. We have another one, and absolutely gorgeous, and is not a female. Again, the females, depending on uh, which creature it is, uh, the females, at least for dragons, super duper rare. You're almost always going to find a male. But this is a gorgeous one. I definitely want this for breeding colors. It is quite vibrant. And also pretty decent stats, too. The last one is a little bit better in the, in the melee. That's usually the only stat that I look at. All right. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, oh. Oh, that was another close one. And... Uh, boom! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck. I am completely stuck. This is com very bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, God. I don't know what to do right now. I don't want our dragon to die. Dang it! Stupid Reaper, why do you pop out right now? You know? Like, seriously, and why do I got to be stuck? So stupid. I can't land right now. Um, I think the only option I have is to teleport out of here if I don't want to kill the dragon. Um, let's go to the blue terminal. Oh, God. I guess this would be a time when we could test if the nutriment gives you a perfect tame or not. Ooh, look at you. Very pretty. All right. Let me head on back there. It's going to be a little bit of a flight, but we'll get them. We will definitely get them. All right. We have our dragon right there. Let's see where this Reaper is. Come here, Reaper. I had to switch up because our horse would not be able to handle that Reaper. All right. Over here. Seriously, Reaper? You're going to be right there? Come on. Come on. All right, let's give this bird a little bit of extra oomph. All right, come on. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, Reaper destroyed. Don't know if there's any more of them. All right, um, wouldn't it be remarkable if it didn't actually hit our guy? It definitely did. <sighs> So I could test it out right here to find out. But I kind of don't want to. I could. I guess in the scheme of things, I would have to pass every stat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just try it out. It kind of ruins the dragon, but let's see what happens. So... I think it actually didn't affect it. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool because that guy was absolutely wrecked. Anyway, um, where was I? Let's go ahead, grab the saddle. Let's go ahead, grab Bling Bird. Beautiful. Good job, buddy. And oh, 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 don't want to forget. One of these days, I'm going to do it. I know it. All right. Final one. One more. Let's make sure this time it is a female. Has to be. Unless there's something really cool. But, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Female dragon. 
Oh, baby! Check this out. That definitely looks like uh, Mensa's mate, too. But we have a 720 female. Actually, pretty respectable stats, too. Wow. All right. Um, I kind of feel like we should drag... Oh, it's not going to get mad at us unless we shoot it. Really don't want to have to knock it out in the wyvern den. That would be uh, not good. All right, let's 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 go ahead and just get it out of here. Come on, buddy. My biggest fear would just be that it, it went into lava. Oh, crap. So everybody comes after me? You kidding me? We're going to have to deal with the wyvern, too. Not cool. All right, come on, dragon. Oh, my lord. All right, let's bring it over to one of these little islands. They're generally safe. As long, yeah, and this guy, they don't run. That's the great thing. Since they don't run, it will stay right on me. We can ensure that it gets knocked out over land. Hopefully this wyvern doesn't stay aggro the whole time. Am I going to have to deal with that too? Come on. Crap. All right. On the bright side, I might be able to knock that wyvern out with one shot. Because it is not like a pug boss or anything. All right. Looks pretty safe to me. All right. Dragon. All right. Wyvern. Wyvern. It would suck if we got stuck underneath the wyvern. I just thought about that. All right, wyvern's out. All right, and... All right, last one. Got it. All right, beautiful. Whew. Nobody else mad, right? Here we go. Now, this guy is going to be substantially cheaper. Substantially, because I wouldn't even need the propagator for it. All right, because the propagator only runs off of elements. All right, beautiful. Got the saddle, got everything. Let's head back with our three new dragons. And let's start to breed our army. This will definitely be good. All right, we have returned. Open up door. Open says a me. Very nice. And let's go ahead, scoop you, Dreamweaver. Your assistance was wonderful today. Let's go ahead and grab Mega Mens. And let's get the breeding a going. So, um, I suppose we should do it over here just because I'm going to leave them breeding for a while. This is probably going to be a multi-stage like stage process. It is not going to be like super duper duper quick. Um, we're going to have to breed it because, I mean, again, look at the stats in this guy. I want to breed over primarily, you know, just the, the main melee and health. But anything else would be greatly uh, appreciated, too. So, we've got our female... We've got our mail. Uh, are you, what What are you currently set on? Let me just see. Um, options, automation. All right, so let's set it to pick up those two. I'm gonna have to go through every other one. Let me see, unfertilized egg generation, no. All right, should be good enough. Uh, the range should reach fairly far. We don't have to like congest ourselves too, too much. Let's go ahead and grab the said female. Let's see, where do I want to put them? All right, we'll put them right here for now. Let's just see how, or over here. Let's see how obnoxious this is. Boom! I'm going to have to pretty soon make a brand new hanger. Because these guys are pretty ridiculously large. And our other one is starting to feel like a tuna can. All right, uh, let's go female right about there. Perfect. Let's make sure it is on passive. Let's go ahead and say enable mating. Awesome. Let's get out the mail. All right, mega mens. Boom. 
Let's get you lined up nicely. You can see our mate boost. Beautiful. And let's go behavior enable. Oh, turret mode. That's kind of cool. Enable mating. All right. Currently mating. Beautiful. And yeah, I haven't adjusted the rates yet. So it's probably going to be pretty stinking quick, but that's okay. So next up, while they're a going, we'll probably have loads of eggs to hatch out. I don't know, a couple of sessions before we actually get them all. Um, we might be able to hold off on the proper gator for now. We still got a heck of a lot more electronics that I'm probably going to want to make. So let's go ahead and make another thing of them. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, why don't we try... Yeah, let's try Mothra. All right, the eggs are coming along quite nicely. We might even get to see one pop out. They're really cool looking. All right. Come on, mama. Lay us an egg. You can do it. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that an awesome looking egg? It almost like you can see like an egg within an egg. That is really cool. Whoa. And it changes colors too. I love it. That is just so incredibly awesome. All right. So. We'll let that continue going. Ooh, let me see if I can hitch them from here. Let's see. Uh, hitch dinos. And no, that's a little too far. Just so they'll continue to lay eggs. Let's make another hitcher. All right. Hitch. Just one, please. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead, set it down. And hitch dinos. Female and where's Mega Mega Mens? Awesome. All right, they'll continue to go no matter what, and so we just can't fill more than 300 slots. All right, fair enough. Next up, Mothra. So we have four Mothra things. Why don't we? Why don't we do three of them just to be safe? Because I want to make sure we get a good one, and also the possibility for uh, breeding. All right, two. Three. Awesome. And we do have enough to make another if we wanted. All right. Let's go head on out here. Beautiful. And the almighty Mothra. So first sacrifice. Bada boom. And bada boom. Incoming, baby. Whoa. All right. We've got the saddle. Awesome. We'll probably upgrade that later. But anyway, for now. So what do we get? Oh, I think we got a female Mothra. Very cool. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, next up. Let's go. And next Mothra. Boom. All right. Let's have a look-see. Oh, I forgot to do the saddle on that one. So we got a male. We have a male and a female. And check out the difference in stats. Holy mother of God. All right. And finally, let's do the last one. Come on. I have faith. We can do even better. Three times a charm. What are we going to get? All right, 1080, not bad. Oh, I forgot to put on the saddle again, and 162. All right, so it looks like the first one is actually our best melee-wise. And health. Oh, and this one's a little better health. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So we'll probably want to breed for stat mutations on those ones. But for now, let's go out on this first one. Let's also give it a little bit of an extra boost, to be fair. All right, Mothra. So the female. Hmm. So these ones we should be able to breed up for uh, mutation wise. But anyway, strongest one. Boom. And. Imprinting pulse. I really love this. It's so great. 
Beautiful. So now we have 100% imprinted Mothra. Let's go ahead, grab off the saddle real quick. Let's also put it on passive. Let's get the saddle upgraded. All right, and I think 150 is probably the highest we can go. All right, so at 150 there, let's do it one more time just to see. Yeah, highest it will go. Let's go ahead and get the other two done too. Boom and boom. Beautiful. All right, let's go our Mega Mothra. Oh, let's put in a teleporter. Let's make a keep folder. Beautiful. And let's find out at, what was it, 179? Holy crap! Those are some big wings. I can remember always liking to use. Let me just see where we craft this. All right, Mothra wings. Oh, that's the trophy. Where do we get the... Uh... Hmm. All right, let me figure out where, if at all, I can make the uh, different size wings. Well, then, I could not find for the life of me uh, what happened to these smaller uh, wings. It used to, I think, just come with it. I don't know. Maybe we got to battle another Mothra. Um, anyway, let's go ahead, toss that out, and let's see what Mothra hits for. So, with the Bronto boost, decently fast. Let's see. Normal hit. Oh, crap. We got to turn this on. And do we get to see? All right, let's go get somebody else. Give me some food, though. All right, here we go. We got somebody in the ground. I don't know if we're going to hit them for extra damage. Oh, okay. Um, If if that was an extra damage, <laughs> this might be our strongest. All right, let's hit somebody else, please. Okay, it was extra damage, but still 210. This is going to be pretty phenomenal. I do not remember what the dragon hit for to boot. All right, that guy was obviously mate boosted, but this is a uh, very, very, very promising. All right, let's go ahead. Bomb, boom. Let's try this guy again. Yeah, so easy 210. Ooh, laser hitting for 4,000. This is not bad, guys. This is uh, really actually quite impressive. Wow. Oh, it gets two lasers, too. I almost forgot. We, we have not one, but two. Wow. And it's a flyer. Oh, Mother is so awesome. And you know what? The uh, It's not that bad, the wings, with this camera angle. I just liked when you could get, like, you know, you had the choice. So, not to complain too much. All right, we're definitely going to have to take on some bosses with this guy. Let's just get a few more things. It's so funny the way it flies. A giant moth. I wonder who came up with that originally. Mothra. Like, honestly, it is such a goofy idea. Giant moth. All right, very, oh, all right, very nice, fly backwards. All right, we're doing good. Let me get, okay, 200, let me get these pumped in. All right, surpassing 200 in the melee, very nice. One thing I did notice, kind of a downfall about Mothra, um, does not eat meat, berries only. Such an unfortunate thing, because he can't harvest it himself. Ooh, look at that damage, though. Holy crud. All right. I saw a, uh, a Rex around here. Let's go find it. An ancient Rex, that is. Definitely better in the sky. It just kind of sucks with this guy because it blocks things with its wings. Um, First person's actually not that bad, though. Ooh, look at that. A skeletal. That is super cool. All right, come on, bro. Wrecked. All right, hopefully that gave us the rest to get to max. Come on, fly, bro, fly. All right, how we looking? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we are at 
two, 51, two, three, four, five. So it's max attack. Um, 42,000 in the stamina. It's pretty good. Um, I think it's, if it's going to be a battle mount, oh, we want to get the health up. Health is not insanely good. Like, it could be a lot better. We're definitely going to want to breed to get it up. Oh. This is some good damage, though. This is some very good damage. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm liking them. Let's see, how's these doing? Oh, good lord. Yeah, very good. Hit so many times and actually really easy to aim. All right. Getting close. Getting really, really close. All right. I am super excited to see. And what do we have here? All right. We got a third trike boss. I think our health should be good enough that we can start battling if this isn't already maxed. Okay. That's maxed. Not at a million. Kind of. That's a little bit of a downfall. But hey, is what it is. We will make do. Let's go ahead now and put in... Fister's Trophy. I love this item. And look at that! Our second creature hitting for over a million. I think the dragon's slightly stronger. But it's, it's I don't know, Mothra might be better. Uh, you know, when we go all out. We also haven't tried that move. Let's see what that does. Because I know that majorly damaged us. Ooh. All right, so we should probably be doing all the moves at once. All right, let's test it out on a third trike. And let's see. Oh. All right, does force us to land. Come on. Getting every last little bit of everything that we have. Taking the hits pretty well. All right. Do your little... I'm trying to do the little butt squirt. Kind of sucks, though, that we're forced to land. I was kind of hoping that maybe, just maybe, it, being Mothra, it wouldn't. All right. Yeah, dude, it is pushing us. I don't think this used to always be a thing, this landing. I could be wrong, but all right. We did it. Very cool. Get out of here. Stop. Now, I wasn't doing the lasers at the same time. So that might be a little bit better, but we easily did it without a health potion. So that's cool. Oh, all right. Next up, who should we try? Should we try another Mothra? Mothra was always the hardest to go up against so far for us. Dude, this is a beautiful one. What are you? Nope. Oh, I love this so much. All right. Let's try I think I actually saw a Mothra around here. And it was like stuck too. Which is so good. Oh, you're so silly, bro. Definitely, uh, I can feel a little bit of my frame rate though. With these flappy wings. Maybe we should go like this. Move it, whales! Alright, where's this Mothra? Let me go hunt it down. Oh, there's a Mr. Fister. And a third trike. And a turkey. We got we got a lot going on. All right. Let's do a Mr. Fister next. Oh, the turkey's going straight for us. All right. Doing awesome. Doing awesome. Come on. Keep going. Make sure to do those lasers, too. Although I'm not seeing the... Oh, there they go. I don't know. It's good. Actually, it's really good. Look at our health. All right, so definitely Rex, Mr. Fister. Come on, dude, look at that giant stinking turkey. And get wrecked. All right, oh, get out of here, you stupid turkey. All right, let's carry on. Let me hunt down Zemothra. All right, guys, I think the Mothra is just right up here because it was right by that island that we had uh, tamed a dragon at. Let's see. Is it going to show up? Mothra! Are you kidding me? I swear it was just right around here. 
Wait, wait, wait. I hear boss stuff. What's going on? Where is it? Um. Whoa! I knew I saw one! What the crap happened to you, Mothra? Dude! Alright, well, uh, it's definitely a Mothra. I don't know how it died, though. Oh, is it... Is it knocked out? Nope, health's all the way gone. Alright, fair enough. Well, the Mothra was defeated by who knows what. It just instantaneously died. All right, let me uh, let me see if I can find another. Oh, guys, look it! Oh, saffron dragon. This guy is nuts. I can't remember what the one is that we tamed, but I don't know. Is this guy worth it? Can I shoot off a moth? I can't. I can't. Oh, you're so beautiful, though. I I kind of want it. Oh, I don't know. I'm torn. Should we get an another dragon? Oh, all right. Well, there's another Mothra over here. Let's go ahead. And I, I wonder what it got in the fight with. I mean, it would have had to have been something bigger than it. So who knows? But anyway, that or maybe it like glitched out. Um, Kind of cool. This guy doesn't seem to be forcing me to land. But oh, man, does that go through my health quick? Good God. Can I give you a taste of your own medicine? Come on, I'm trying to do it. Jeez. This guy is wicked strong. Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, by far the hardest yet of like any of these guys. I'm hoping maybe, just maybe, it will give us the costume, but it kind of seems like, oh crap that that got removed. Yeah, I didn't see a costume. Look at all that sparklies. Who's gobbling at me? Whoa! Go away, turkey. Yeah, nothing. Oh, that would have been so cool. All right. Um, I guess, you know what? That was a really cool looking dragon. Let, let's finish off getting a dragon. I think, you know, why not? Why not? All right, let's just grab all these goodies. All right, awesome. Hopefully I can carry it. Okay, good, good. Whoa! Get out of here. All right. I mean, it definitely, it can't be better than the one that we already have, but, you know, it could, it could make for a potentially good breeding partner. Um, where's, there we go. Now, it was kind of in a sketch area. You know, maybe I can do that same thing and drag it to the island. All right, where'd this dragon go? I know he's around here. Here we go. Yeah, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead, go shabammy. And this guy aggro's for a long time. So let's pull him out. Maybe even that island right there would be good. Come on, buddy bro. Yeah! All right, I'll meet you over uh, at the taming area. And... Bada boom. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got. Stat-wise, we have... Ooh, look at that. That is a really good one. 243 in the melee. We do it better. But, you know, very cool. Very cool for an actual uh, first generation. All right. Let's grab the saddle. And I think we did good today, guys. I think we did really, really well. Love our new Mothra. Um, that, if we're going to use a boss, that's going to be the one. But uh, anyway, let's get back to the base and let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode 
and I pick out all the most awesome name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the third trike and our penguin to name and their names will be none other than Skull Crusher. Love it. And Cuckoo Kachoo. Yeah, that's what I always call these guys. So very silly. For next episode, we need a name for our Spawnabothra. We need a name for our new... We'll just do the Shiny Dragon. Yeah, well, you know, we got two of them. We'll see. We'll see how many names we get. And, um, yeah, I think that about does it. I'm going to leave these uh, two dragons breeding through. Holy crap. I don't know if I can leave them breeding through the night, but I'll leave them breeding for a while. <laughs> this has eggs, too. <gasps> All right, I'll leave them breeding. Uh, hopefully the eggs don't hatch. Do you, do you hatch? I don't. Are, are you too far away from? The okay, good, good. I think, uh, yeah, too cold. All right, beautiful. So if we get too many of them, they'll just despawn. So fair enough. But uh, yeah, on that note, thank you oh so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. Also, be sure to check out the Discord and yeah, maybe pop in for the live streams. Just say hi or who knows, maybe you like to watch it. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks again. And as always, peace out.